What's up, everybody? I'm going to show you this cool little taco pillow that I made for my kitties. I hope you're ready to learn something new today. Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> okay, here we go. First, bada bing, bada boom. Five hours of editing just that part right there. Didn't need that. I wanted the square one because I'm making a pillow. Boom. All right, y'all. I can't stress how important it is to get that taco right in the center of that little square thingy. I got my little thing. I'm cutting it. Look at me. Look at how good I am. Look at the movement of my hands, ladies. It's perfect. Look at the little slow montage I made. I created that little video part right there. Yes, cute. Moving on. All right, here we go. I'm gonna show you a little magic trick and then there's two. Just kidding. After I cut the video, I went and did the other one. It took me like 10 minutes. Okay, moving on. So check this cool part I did. I want you to see this magic trick. Boo! You know what? It wasn't as cool as I thought it was. Moving on. Okay, okay, enough of that. So I just want to let you know, I'm cutting this mesh, and it's specifically so that the cats can get their grimy little paws on the pillow themselves. Like, they can just grab it with their claws, you know, and toss it in the air, whatever they want to do. <laughs> so that's why I do this little mesh piece, and I think it's really important and super cute. I'm going to fast forward through this. It's really boring. Okay, but really, what is this? Remnants left. I can't even get it off. What's going on here? Whatever. All right, for the next part, get your cases, get your cotton, get your string, and get your mesh ready to go. Ooh la la, looky here. This is the fun part. The fun part right here. And I'm gonna fast forward through all of it. But you're basically gonna sew everything together. Now, like I said, this isn't a real tutorial. I just was really bored at home and I decided to record myself doing it just to entertain you guys because I'm super cool like that. So look at how fast, oh my God. It's so as fast as me. Here we go, nice side. Oh, shit, look at me go. Okay, next one, next side. That was already next side. Oh, 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 did you see that? Did you see that? Okay, moving on. All right, so my transition was really cute. Did you like it? I paid $10 for that transition, but this is the most important part right here. I'm literally flipping it inside out because I did the whole so 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 thing. If you really want to know how to like do this little so 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 thing that I did, just search YouTube on how to do something like this because honestly, that's what I did and that's what I'm doing for you now. I'm legit just bored, so I wanted to make one my style. I hope you enjoyed that little cringle moment we had right there. All right, moving on. Okay, so I have him all flipped out. I'm like putting the crinkle in. You can see me doing that. I have like a little space in there. I'm gonna start adding the cotton right now. And boy, when you're stuffing that cotton, you gotta make sure you get it nice and fluff and fluffy. Because if it's a sad pillow, your cat's gonna be sad and probably slap you with it. Now, if it's a good pillow, your kid's gonna be happy, probably doing something like this. Super cute, right? Well, anyways, that was that. So moving on to the stuffing part again. I'm just going to fast forward through it because I think it's pointless to show you how perfect I am at stuffing pillowcases. Um, let's go. I mean, come on. Look at this. Look at how perfect it is. Oh, my God. Okay, cut to cats enjoying it. 